the Gila National Forest is almost 3 million acres. It's up in elevation, right? We're mile high, more than mile high. So uh, you get a lot of the different type of landscapes. That starts with, of course, the rolling hills there in Hurley. And as you get up in elevation, uh, you get di different kind of pine forest, lots of water, lots of rivers and lakes and streams. The hiking is probably second to none anywhere in the world. It's a place where you can go and be absolutely alone if you really wanted to. You can hike out there and not see another soul the whole day. Growing up, we didn't have a lot of money to go on vacations and things like that, so we would go to the river. It was never taken for granted what we had, you know, because it was unlike any other place. To me personally, I think it's a place of healing. I believe that everyone should have access to something like that. It's a path over 3,000 miles with uh, beautiful sceneries, a diversity of, of landscapes and and wildlife and cultures. In my personal experience, the more diverse a space is, the richer it is, the better it is, the more fun it is, right? We're all constantly learning from each other. I really think there's a lot of opportunities, especially when you think of the gateway communities, right? That are communities that are pretty much in the middle of the divide. These communities are enriched just by the people that that come there for the divide, but then it has this trickle effect into um, local culture, local economy. At the end of the day, the benefits that we get as humans from being in nature are wide and grand, but you don't need to be a professional alpine climber to get them. So how do we change that narrative so that everybody knows that everybody's welcome? There was native elders, right, that I've sat with and listened to, and they talk about seven generations, right? Everything that we do today, we should be thinking about seven generations ahead. And that always stuck with me. And so I always want, especially our Gila forest, to be a place where people can go to 20 generations from now and experience the, the peace and that healing energy that we feel when we go out there. I want that to carry on for forever. Ooh.